Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is gonna be a different type of haul video. I went to a thrift store yesterday and although I went in there looking for some Christmas ideas, I did not find any Christmas ideas. And instead, I found tons of things that I can totally use for when I become a school counselor. And they honestly might end up being something I can use during my school counseling program that I am currently in because I can use them for when I have to create my own group counseling session or for when I am actually in my internship and in practicum. So I wanted to show you guys for if you guys are future school counselors yourself or either to um, just kind of give you guys an idea of what like school counselors do um, but also like, you know, if you're a parent and you want to know what school counselors do, whatever it might be. And so first we have this. This was $2 and it says, Hi Neighbor. This is like an activities book, but it was like nothing was written in it. And so if you don't know, school counselors focus on academic, career, and social emotional. And we do lesson plans just like teachers do but we don't do them like every single day the way teachers do. And so this I felt like was gonna be great for career because you could use this with elementary schoolers. And I like that it had a lot of different ideas for how to do different um, lesson plans and like activities. I could like copy different ideas out of it um, and basically have the kid um kind of like it could be an activity for them to do so that was one thing that i really liked about it i had one there are like lots of others in it as well so i mean there's probably others that i could even use in it that are not necessarily considered um it even gives you some best book suggestions for books about the community, but it's like it's a good way to even teach them about what is in our community. Um, but you could even give like copy and paste and give to like, you know, the teachers for when they need ideas of like how to talk to their kids about something. Um, and so I liked it because it really like helped with giving ideas about like particularly um, the aspect of trying to figure out the career and um, because this was great I felt like this was great for elementary school age because like a lot of times especially in early elementary school age they don't even know what a job is and um, so like you have your teach portion but then you have like an activity and I felt like this was especially good for activities because it had a lot of different activity ideas and like maybe not all of them are specifically career related but I mean, there were some really good ones in here that I was like, oh, I definitely want this. Like this one, I was like, this would be an awesome one to have for doing an elementary school. This one is like, it says it's a flip book. Um, so I would imagine that you like make it, well, so it's a jobs flip book. So you need crowns mar or markers, scissors, construction paper, glue, and a stapler, and basically you turn it into a book so I like I felt like that one in particular I will definitely have to stick you know that one I actually felt like that one was a really good one it does have ones that are more focused on a certain type of career but um I felt like it was a really good had some really good ideas in it for like teaching elementary school age especially about just what a job is and um, so that was kind of my idea when I saw it was like just teaching about careers because I know for me this was my first semester taking like a school counseling related class and like I felt like career and academic were the ones that I felt like less confident about and social emotional I was like oh I'm so passionate about it I like just love it but I also like feel like that's what I just naturally am so like I want to just love that emotions are everything for me and whereas like the career and academic I'm just like ah. And so, like, I kind of, like, almost, like, focused on trying to find things that would help me with that. So, next I have the question 
challenge game. This I actually saw. Um, this I don't remember if I saw this in a YouTube video because I do watch a couple of school counselors who have like YouTubes, or if I saw this this semester in my school counseling class. But this one is basically a game they can play. Like you can do it like for like when you're having like a group session, um, and it basically is like really good for like especially like you know when you just like need to talk with kids about something but like games are especially good for that like when you need to talk with kids about something and like but it's like keeps them calm so they can talk about things without like feeling like just super like oh my gosh like emotional and so this is like it basically like on the back it says this unique game will challenge your students as they improve their reasoning and social skills here's how it works Player 1 turns over a challenge card and reads it. This card tells which player will answer and how many questions he, she will answer. The player flips over a question card, answers it, and receives tokens. Player with the most tokens wins. Target 10 skills. Stay in calm through self-talk. Determine in perspective. Predicting. Questioning in conversation. Stating opinions. Inference. Inferencing. Cognitive flexibility, intonation and body language, social encouragement, understanding sarcasm, which, like, I wish that I had had a school counselor who helped me understand sarcasm because I grew up with family members who had sarcasm, and I am very bad at, like, I, because I was around it, I picked up all that sarcasm, and I have actually, like, really offended people because they didn't understand that I was being sarcastic. Because it was like it came comes off so like just as if I'm like talking, but really I'm trying to be sarcastic. And so it comes with 300 color coded question cards, 30 cards per topic, 50 challenge cards, electronic spinner, and 225 bingo chips. I so this is a really good deal. It was thirty dollars, but I mean I can see why it's thirty dollars because it comes with a lot and plus like. Who knows how much that was on like Amazon or on like whatever website the question challenge was on. But like social skills are like definitely one of the mindsets and behaviors, which mindsets and behaviors, if you don't know, is basically what like all those skills and different things that like school counselors work on with kids, that's what they're called. Um and so I really love this. I like I saw it and I was like, oh I'm not gonna get it, and then like I went back and it took like a second trip around and was like, okay, I have to get this. Um, so next we have the Century Diet Game. And this is a companion game to the Century Diet card. And so this one is, um, the Century Diet Game helps children learn about their century, about their century system. Children identify their arousal levels in different situations and use particular activities and exercises to be just right for learning and playing at home, school, and in the community. Therapists can also tailor the game to each student's individual needs by creating their own other sensory scenarios and exercises on blank cards and tokens included in the game. So basically, this one kind of focuses, focuses on, like, helping children with that, like, social-emotional aspect. And... So, it comes with 128 full-color illustrated laminated Century Diet token, 16 8 double-sided Century Diet board, 100 full-color illustrated Century Diet cards, 30 cards per area, plus 10 blank make-your-own cards, 10 row blockers, instruction booklet, 4 dry erase markers, yeah, that's awesome, and a spinner. So... I really like this because it really helps with like the sensory issues and like just like really try to focus on like just the arousals and like I think about this especially because it's like literally is all about like just I mean because you look at if you look at the front and let me get up close you can see like it says when I feel and I can I will I can. And I like that because it's just so, 
I think about the kids at my work especially and it's like that's something we constantly have to work on with them especially like younger ages like the pre-k it's like we're having to like really be like you know helping them with being calming down and like just really figure out like te- reminding them that like you know did you ask if you can do that and like you know like really helping them calm down because like their first reaction sometimes is just to be like nope and like so it's like that arousal, like really getting them to be like, oh, like, like take a breath. <laughs> okay, so the next, well, this is the last thing that I got that's school counseling related is responsibility. And, oh, and the Century Diet game was $25. So like the two games were like the biggest money costing thing. The responsibility was $2, um, which this is just another book. And I felt like the response, it basically talked about all the different types of ways you are responsible. It talked about actions, yourself, your family, your friends, and at school, the environment. And I like it because it really talked about how, like, it does have, like, some stuff in it that I'm kind of like, I don't think I would include, like, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Um, But it's just, like, I don't feel like, how, why would I use that, like... Unless I, like, specifically wanted to talk about history stuff in a lesson or something. But I like it specifically because, like, you know, especially I think about if you're, like, working with, like, kids and, like, they're not, like, you know, they need help with discipline. Like, responsibility would be a great thing to talk about with them about how, like, they're responsible for their own actions. So then when they get consequences, that's, you know, because they made the wrong choice. And so I really like it especially because, like, you know, this is a good way you could use it to talk with younger kids, but you can also use it to talk with middle schoolers. And so I like like that. And the last thing I got was just for my work because they have this bingo game and I just happened to find it. And it is like, for, what game comes with two bingo like boards? Like, so I got, I found another one at the thrift store. It was two bucks. I was like, I'll get it. I mean, because the kids, like, when I do early care, they're, like, getting, like, so, like, no, I want to play. I want to play. And, like, you know, like, I mean, they're being kids. But I just was like, well, now, now four people can play. It's all good. Like, <laughs> so, I mean, I felt like it was, like, not something that needed to be such a big deal I was like but I also kind of felt like it was crazy because normally bingo like when you buy a bingo game it's like it comes with like 20 packs of bingo cards or more so I was like I'm gonna get this one so that then they have more bingo like another like four bingos because I'm like I don't understand why like I can see why they're upset like I feel like you know, when you want to play a game, you normally want to play with everybody or, like, at least multiple people. So, that is everything from the haul. I, honestly, so, in all, it cost me sixty four twenty three, But that, I mean, of course, includes, like, the tax, um, which for Virginia, that's three twenty three. Um, But, I mean, personally, like not including the bingo game like that is a good deal and now like I don't have to worry about this stuff like and I can even use this stuff for like you know probably like I can use this stuff to help me create things for my actual like classes like because I created I know for my school counseling class this past semester that I just finished I actually, for one of my lesson plans for a project that I had to do, I actually used a book that I already had because it was focused on socially, I focused on the social emotional lesson, whereas my partner did the career and then she and I worked on academic together and I focused on the social emotional and I had a book called A Spot of Feeling and Plushies that came with it. So I had like the activity be related to the plushies and the book be like the how you know the teaching portion so I mean how is that not like awesome plus like it's less for me to have to buy later and so 
I think that's a good deal. Tell me below, like, what did you think? Um, do you think it was a good deal or do you think I, like, spent, like, too much money or, like, just really did not need all that? Like, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, like, I know I probably didn't need to buy the bingo game, but, I mean, I was like, I really don't care. I mean, might as well. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon for the next Advent Calendar Tea. Bye!